Welcome to my new video about what's going out in the post today. These are all items that have sold on eBay since Friday and today is Tuesday. Um, there are quite a few items. Um, again, sales haven't been that great. It, we've been clearing a lot of bits and bobs out, which is good. Sending offers, accepting offers, running promotions. Um, in total, there are 30 seven items 35 at ebay one is depop and i've made a bit of a boo-boo but i need to it's a vintage um sale it was my first bundle and it turns out that one of the items that they've bought i sold back in march on ebay so i need to sort that out and it was a bit annoying because it was right palaver trying to sort out the postage price as well there's a lot of to and fro in between me and the customer um so another reason why i don't really like using vintage uh, as you can see, or hopefully in the background, um, we have tidied up in here and we've actually turned it back into a dining room. Um, not that you can would know if you walked in here because the table's full of stock. Um, but I've got a tablecloth on and um, yes, it's nice and clean and tidy in here. So that is good, which is why um, I didn't do too much listing over the weekend because we had friends around and uh, tidied up the house because uh, they were around to watch the football. So um this week we are steep like full steam ahead with um listing and we don't need to go sourcing so the whole mojo thing that i posted about on instagram saying i'd lost my mojo for sourcing i just needed to get over that because um i've got enough to list here so i am going to show you what's sold no particular order today and uh, these are something that we've sold regularly they are the virgin atlantic key rings uh, we sell them in pairs and they cost 66p. We've had them since August last year, but they're sort of regular little sellers. They don't take up much room. And these sold on a 30% off promotion for £4.40. And look, another pair, exactly the same. Um, on a 30% off promotion, they sold for £4.40. And all let's just click that a sec. I can hear the dogs moving around there, down here with me. Um, Jenny the Giraffe. I think this was possibly in an auction bundle. It must have been, because I wouldn't have picked this up. The only sort of plush I pick up is like Disney or Pixar characters. Uh, this one cost a pounds and one pound and eight p. We had it since July last year, which is a very long time, which is why we let it go for five pound forty nine. some breakables so you'll see these in charity shops across the land they are vintage bud vases they're made of glass this one's from the 1960s it's a single stem and uh, with controlled bubbles in the base it's 20 centimeters tall which i put in the title they're pretty generic. People do collect them. You can get ones that are more rounded. This one's flatter. Um, and they, they come in all different colours. But again, they're not particularly um, worth much money. But this came in a bundle from the auction. So this one cost £2.76. And I actually only got it in June. So it hasn't um, been for sale for too long. And that went out on an offer for £9.49. Um, Bra, I'm oh, so pleased. We had we started off with so many bras in a huge sort of um, like clear tub, and we've probably got five or six left now. So they have sold really, really well. So if you can get hold of like decent branded bras, brand new, then they're definitely a good seller if they, if you can buy them cheap enough. Uh, this one is a Freya Idol Moldy Bra 30F, brand new with tags. Actually, a Debenhams tag. So oh, this was for sale in Debenhams for 36 pounds. It cost me £1.76 in February and I just sold it for £12. That's um, been around a while now. <laughs> uh, this is a really nice top and it should have gone for a lot more money than it did. However, the size is so small. Um, I think it's an extra small. Um, it is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it's a Nike Indie Icon Clash tank top vest, extra small. Um, I don't know if it's, yeah, it's brand new with tags. We actually had 
another top that matched this and shorts. They sold a lot, uh, a lot quicker. Uh, this one we've had since February. It cost seven pound twenty nine in, in a big sort of sports bundle uh, where we had some really good um, sweatshirts and stuff in there. Uh, so this one actually just sold for six pound fifty because it's such a small size. We needed to get it out the door. Um, a Joe Brown skirt. I think we sold two Joe Brown skirts this, this weekend, actually. This one is size 16. It's like a steampunk sort of style. It's got maroon lace on it and some ruffles. It cost 6 52 in May, and it was a bit of a bad buy, so I took an offer of £12.50. Some socks. I haven't actually sold men's socks for a while. Simon even said when he was getting these out um, where we keep our stock, he said, oh, I haven't opened this tub in a while. Uh, so these are our original Penguin men's socks, three pairs. Uh, these cost £5.17p back in February. And we um, put them on a 30% off promotion and they went for 9 dollars These were loose. They, they, are, they are brand new. They're part of a multi-pack that's been split open. <clears throat> they actually are Costco stock. So... Yeah, they were never going to go for too much. Oh, yeah, here's the other Joe Brown skirt. This one's a black one. This also cost uh, £6.52. It's got zips on it. And uh, this sold for £13 on an offer. I won't pick anything like that up again. This next one was a good one. Uh, a vintage t-shirt. Um, it's an Aboriginal art t-shirt. So it's got a big stripe across the front with sort of Aboriginal artwork on it. Um, it's a size 22, which is a double XL. It's the, the actual t-shirt make is Red Gooses and it's made in Australia. It cost three pounds and it's sold for 19. So that was a good one. I don't know where, oh, it's going to Germany. I do remember going to Germany. Some swimwear, this is Debenhams stock as well. I'm gonna miss Debenhams. I do I do like Debenhams. Um this one. Oh, here we go. Debenhams tummy control bandu bando swim bandu bando swimsuit size 14. Uh brand new tags cost 176 in February, sold so for 1294. We want to get all the swimwear gone now. I think a couple of offers on swimwear have just come through since I've been doing this video, so that's good. Uh, another top, this one is a running vest and it says on it, um, it's like the Royal Parks or something. It's for a particular event. Uh, Skimitar, the Royal Parks running vest. Um, it was a, an event in London and it's brand new tags. It cost £10.97 in a big bundle uh, in February and it sold for £9.50. <laughs> These random flags, there's a green one, a yellow one and a red one. These were in like a vintage job lot. Um, we've done all right on flags when we've had them though. These have been around a while. I, I don't really know what they're for. Um, but I, I uh, described them as a fabric hand flag, one green, one red, one yellow, wooden handles, sports teams, school clubs. Uh, they cost £3 in July last year and they sold for £5 and 8p. Can't throw vintage things away. I uh, do have to sell them. Um, it seems to, like, I know it's, there's no money in that one, but we made money on the whole bundle, so that's what matters. Uh, next up, another breakable, this plate. I think it's a dressing table dish actually. It's Wedgwood and is it Ice Rose? Yeah, Ice Rose because it says it on the back, which is very helpful. Uh, Wedgwood Ice Rose oval dressing table tray. When I bought, sorry, that was my dog knocking something over. When I bought um, a big this big Wedgwood bundle, I found some really helpful websites with literally a picture of everything in the set. Um, with the measurements, like the size and what the purpose was. Because sometimes you could think that that was like a side plate or some kind of sort of um, like buffet plate. And I used to have little sort of picky bits on it. But it's a dressing table tray. And it cost one ninety nine in May and it sold for £10. All right, I'm not going to take this out because uh, it's, it's really hard to get back in. But it's just basically a glass sort of teardrop 
ter ter terrarium, terrarium. <laughs> it's like got an artificial cactus in it or a succulent with some like artificial gravel and um, it's got a bit of rope on it and you hang it, it's like decorative. They cost 90, we've got a few of these, they cost 95p back in May last year and uh, this one sold for uh, 5.49. Terrarium, terrarium, oh, I don't know. Um, next up is some wool, Sheetjes uh, Olifonte, it's foreign, 100% acrylic yarn wool, uh, this one's dark green and it sold for 4 99 cost pence. In a, like, it was in a big bundle of stuff we got from the auction and there was just like 20 balls of wool. Um, so yeah, I didn't buy it for the wool. The wool just came with it. Uh, this next one's a good one. Uh, a recent pickup in June. Um, I bought, if you watch our um, haul videos, you'll see, hopefully you'll remember, I bought three cycling hats. Two were rougher. Um, the, all this is the third one to sell um all three from that day sold so this is a raffa check cycling hat navy blue it is used it cost 1.99 in june and it sold for 17.99 and that's going abroad as well um i don't know where though let's see if we can see is it going far ah america so 17.99 was like the the good price point for those hats so if you see raffa cycling hats um sort of aim for 17.99 unless it's something really special um, but all three of the hats i sold went for 17.99 they were priced higher but that was what people wanted to pay so i'll definitely pick those up again if the price is right um this one is a textile heritage collection london taxi county cross stitch kit brand new cost 99p uh, got it in april stuck it on the 30 percent off promotion to um get some sales in and it sold for 6.64 It'll just go in an envelope, it's so thin. So that's an easy one. Um, another bra, this is a very recently listed bra. This was in a bundle from the auction. It's a shock absorber running bra. And this one costs £4.23. I only listed it last week and it sold for £22.99. It's brand new a tag. And another bra, it's all about the bras. Um, my tummy's gonna start run, rumbling, I'm sure of it. Sorry in advance. Uh, Arden, oh no, Anthem Lace Bra 38E, uh, brand new tags, cost 176 in March as part of a big bundle, sold for five pounds. It's not particularly great make or anything. Um, that was just sort of auction fodder. Uh, this is quite nice. This was in a uh, auction pickup of like sort of house clearance, vintage stuff. Um, it has been described as best I can um, as a mid-century modern glass vase, green textured, and it's kind of, I put pearlescent because it sort of catches the light really, really nicely. Uh, and it's 14 centimeters tall. It cost 276 in June, and this one sold for 12.99. Um, I'll put that one there. Some soap, nothing special. This was just um, left over from an auction bundle as well. It's like a Dove collection. Oh, oh no, simple and Dove. One, one lot of Dove, the rest is simple. Um, these ones went for uh, £8.39 uh, on a 30% th off promotion and only cost a couple of quid, so that's good. Uh, the last one of these to go out the door, the Yardley uh, Men's Aftershave. And these were just a recent pickup. There was loads of them in a chasm, so I just grabbed them one day. Um, this one, probably, I think, did it go for a tenner? Uh, 3 is £10, yeah, not great, but I wanted to get the last one gone. And then some napkin rings. These are quite cute, actually. They are really sort of bright blue and I'm, I've been reading a lot about sort of interiors lately and blue is a trending colour, who knew? Uh, so I listed these um, as like a multi-buy, so each box costs one pound and um, they had 15% off if you bought both boxes, so they bought both for nine pound fifty. Um, 
this little guy, Eeyore. Eeyore is the cutest. I think he's my favourite Winnie the Pooh character. It's a little snow globe. Um, it's the official Walt Disney Showcase Eeyore Gloom to Bloom Waterball Snow Globe. And it costs £3 in April and it sold for £9.79 and it's going to America. Got a few, got two things going to America. Oh look, another bra. <laughs> This is Old Costco stock, so there should have been two in here as you can see, but this is how it came in the auction bundle. So it was obviously taken off the shelves in Costco because there's one missing, it's like um, someone had taken it out and it got dirty or something or broken. Um, this one is, yeah, so it's Carol Hockman, seamless comfort bra, medium nude, wire free, molded and soft. It's brand new tags, cost £3.7 in January. It's well, we have sold it once and it's come back uh, because they thought they were getting both bras, even though it says you're getting one bra. Um, so we just let it go for six pounds. A couple of games play your cards right. The box, I don't know, it looks a bit dodgy. This one, um, this one. Yeah, play your cards right, board game sealed from 2004. The design just looks a bit wishy-washy. Uh, it cost £3.99 in June and it sold for 15 Another board game, Othello. Um, strategy board game from uh, April is when we got this one for £3.25 and it sold for £12.49. Vintage edition from 1987. Another one of these is sold for £20 and 9p. Um, this is like the travel mattress thing. We've got a few of these. Uh, so that's good. Another one that bites the dust. Uh, a Depop sale of some boxer shorts. Now, let me just go on to Depop and tell you what they went for. Um, $15.99, they cost £1.76, so that's good. Nice little Depop sale, uh, long overdue. Um, okay, this is a limited sale, so it's supposed to be a Rohan Atlas ladies jacket without a hood, so the hood's missing, and this or this quarter zip fleece large. This has got damage on it, it's like kind of got this sort of knitted overlay to the fleece, and it's just come unstitched on some seams. Um, so I just reduced them um, or put on Vinted for a really low price. And someone went both of them and it were to and fro and about the price because it's just, I think it's a rubbish platform. Um, and when I went to pick the stock, it turns out we sold the jacket. So I'm gonna see if she still wants this. Hopefully she does, fingers crossed. Um, some Marks and Spencer's foot glove. I used to pick up Marks and Spencer's foot glove shoes all the time, as long as they are a six or um, higher, because they're wide fit as well, most of them, um, if not all of them. So they were a really good sale. They're sort of like office shoes, um, air hostess shoes, that sort of thing. Really, really popular. Um, but since lockdown, people aren't just dressing up or going to the office anymore. So these are a six and a half. They're moccasin wedges. I've actually sold this style so many times over. Um, but these ones have hung around since last August. So that's definitely telling you something. So we paid £4.49. I could easily have sold these for £24.99 over and over again um, before lockdown. But uh, I've got these just went at £10.63. And not really buying shoes at all anymore. Uh, these ones were a bad buy. Again, lockdown, uh, cowboy boots. Who doesn't love a cowboy boot? Um, they, I'm sure they were made in the USA as well. Rio Grande, or Grand cowboy boots, size 10, uh, made in the USA. I put line dancing and Western in the title. They, they cost 24 pounds because they're a really good make. Um, but just no interest. People aren't going line dancing clubs. People aren't going to fancy dress. People aren't going out. Like people that might wear these that are into sort of like, I don't know, rock music and stuff, just or musicians aren't going to gigs. Uh, so they cost £24 last August and they've gone now for 15 Just had to take that one on the chin. And they're in really good condition as well. Um, Fly London, I love a pair of Fly London shoes when I see them, as long as they are not ridiculously priced, which they can be. 
These ones are a very recent pickup. Got these last week or the week before. They're Fly London Bianca sandals in green, size six. Um, I know they're Bianca sandals because I took a picture of them on Google Lens and the results showed me loads of these. Uh, they cost $6.99 and they sell for $25. And then two more things, some good sales here. A Christmas mug. Uh, it's Emma Bridgewater, Bring in the Green, half pint mug, first Christmas 2019. I don't know what's first Christmas about it, but it's something to do with the design. And I don't think they make do this design anymore. Uh, it cost me four pounds. I actually got two, they were four pound each. And um, that was when we went away for our weekend and stopped at some charity shops on the way and on the way back. Uh, so yeah, four pounds in June and it sold for 29.99. And hopefully the other one will sell for the same price. And then on Instagram, you'd have see, hopefully seen us talk about um, a boots pickup that I did a few weeks ago from the clearance section. I got a load of really good stuff. I spent 105 pounds, I think it was. And we've done so well. I reckon we've probably, um, it's over 200 pound profit that um, we've done and there's still stuff for sale. So these are Viviscal uh, Men's Hair Growth Program, 30 tablets, food supplement, brand new in the box. The expiry is excellent. It's June 2022. Um, so I don't know why they were reduced so much, uh, but these cost five pounds. Uh, I had them up for 25 and um, someone offered 20. I counted at 23.99 and they took that. So really pleased with that. And I think some of it we're able to send into Amazon some we sold just on eBay. Anything that does go into Amazon gets cross-listed to eBay anyway. Um, but these were solely on eBay. And I had a few other packets and they've all sold out. So really, really pleased. That was a great pickup. And I was just right place, right time that day because I have been in a couple of boots um, since when I've been going past. And I haven't picked up anything. It's all been sort of dodgy lip balms, dodgy makeup and uh, sort of boots own brand stuff. So uh, that was a really good day. Uh, so that is everything. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. There's one more thing. It is a couple of weeks ago, I picked up some underwear from the auction, like a big job lot. My first bag of underwear for ages. And I, what I do is I sort of sit down, normally in front of the telly, and I have like two piles, and then they're always in sacks. And one pile is, yeah, I want to list that on its own, like individually or as a pair or something else. Uh, and that's my not bothered about listing um, pile. So the pile that I'm not bothered about listing, I then bundle together and list as a job lot on eBay. And this sold sort of in, within, I think it was 24 hours, could have been 48 hours. Um, so really, really pleased. And it's a job lot of 26 underwear items, mainly women's, all brand new, mix of sizes and styles. And it's just bras, a lot of them are like Chinese brands. Um, there's like fishnet tights, there's some Lonsdale boxer shorts, um, yeah, all sorts of bits and bobs. But like the, the knickers have still got like their, um, uh, what's it called? The strip, the hygiene strip in them. The bras have got tags on, so it's all good stuff. And we've had, I've sold these before, and I've always had really good reviews. Uh, so this works out at um, four pounds. Uh, Sometimes I work it out as a zero cost, but I didn't. I, this one cost £4.23 and it sold for £24.99 plus post. So £28.94 in total. So really, really pleased with that. And it should, it should go Royal Mail because it's not heavy. So that's all our sales that are going out and that's everything that sold over the weekend and Monday and Tuesday morning. Um, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe and watch our previous videos because there's so much information in there uh, that we like to share, um, showing you what we pick up, what we sell, what we wouldn't pick up again. Don't forget, you can also find us on Instagram. We're FNS Resellers over there as well. Come and join in um, the reseller community. Everyone's really friendly. And um, yeah, we have some sort of, we have some bants over there. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.